Hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make coupons using Adobe Illustrator right now. Uh, pretty simple uh, process here. Um, go ahead and start off by showing you guys a little bit around. you got your toolbox over here on the left. All your type characters right here in the middle. And um, alignment features, another pathfinder tools. Most of them you won't have to worry about over here on the right. I've already pulled up our master template with our lines showing it's a coupon and everything. Giving that coupon look. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a, uh, a photo right there in the middle. So I've already uh, pulled up a pizza. Pizza, pizza here. And I'm going to just zoom out here so you can see that. And I'm going to just go ahead and select on that. I've just placed that on top of my coupon. I'm going to shift and drag my corner down to size my photo. And just use your shift key, and that'll keep that uniform, keep it from stretching. And I can go in there and place everything where I want, like so. And kind of adjust it where you want. That's good. So now I'm going to do my type. I'm going to add uh, some words here. So I'll go over here and hit my type tools, click on that. And then make another click. I'm going to do buy one, enter, get one. And I've already adjusted the kerning and everything. You can adjust your letting, your kerning, all that stuff. You can stretch your type out. Um, you can make it stretch to the left. You can make it stretch to go taller. You can do all kinds of fun stuff. So it's all right there in your character palette right here. And I've already figured out what I'm right here. I'm, I use actually uh, Impact Font. It's a really good font because it's, you know, seen a lot. And you'll see this, this font called Impact in a lot of uh, advertising. Uh, so it's a good one to use. It's really bold and it gets your attention. But anyways, I got that buy one, get one. And then I'm going to just copy and paste my type down here on top down here. I'm going to just double click that again. And that will allow me to change the type and make that so I'm going to just buy one get one free here and I, if I want to make that bigger I just use my black arrow key up here at the very top of the toolbox over here on the left and then I just shift and drag my corner to make resize that get that as big as I want then I can go up and adjust my photo move that down a little bit make it look a little more balanced and and just do the same for the top. And my final step is I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna put a logo on there so we know where it's coming from. Because after you opted in, um, you do want to tell people when you're sending out uh, messages or on your uh, coupons, you want to make sure that you're putting your uh, location of your business. Because you don't obviously you want them to know where it's coming from. Especially now that this is starting to become a more prevalent uh, way of uh, doing advertisement. Uh, there's going to be a lot more people opting into different services. So you got to always make sure their name is on the uh, advertising you're making for them. Anyhow, so now I got that. I just dropped my, um, I just picked a logo out here I just while I was talking, but I just dropped that on top of the coupon there. And then I just shift, shifted the corners, shift dragged the corners to size it. And really it's right where I want it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and, I already say I'm gonna, you know, I, I if you want to save it as a PDF, you can just go up to your file, save as, and it's already set on PDF. I think PDF's the way to go. Um, I want to replace that because it's uh, another one we've already done before, and that's saved. Right here it is, save again. This computer's a little slow, so. Does take a little bit of time sometimes. And uh, after this saves, I'm going to show you guys how to do um, a JPEG real quick. So that's all saved. Now you can go up to make a JPEG. You can't do it through Save As in the File um, Save As feature. You have to go down here to Save for Web and Devices, and you click on that. And then uh, we've got all our quality up here. We'll put it at maximum jpeg we we can actually make uh, a gifs jpegs pings um a couple other um types of files but i like jpegs because they're kind of universal and then uh pings are always also pretty nice too but 
for this for this feature and this project. We're just going to do with uh, JPEG and save. Save to my desktop. I'm going to replace it. And we're done. That's how you guys make a, a, a coupon using Adobe Illustrator. Uh, just keep staying tuned for more videos. There's going to be more to come. And uh, good luck out there, guys. Thanks for everything.